Hello everyone, today we're diving into the essential topic of email to case feature in Salesforce. If you're keen on enhancing customer support, stay tuned as we unpack its functionalities. So let's understand what the email to case feature in Salesforce enables you to do. This tool allows you to automatically convert incoming emails from your customers into cases within Salesforce. This automated process ensures that customer inquiries are efficiently managed, tracked, and resolved. Now, Salesforce offers email to case through two distinct features, email to case and on-demand email to case. Let's briefly explore the differences between these two. Email to case is an automated system where emails from customers are automatically converted into cases without manual intervention. It provides a seamless integration for managing customer inquiries. In contrast, on-demand email to case allows users to manually select which emails should be converted into cases. This feature provides greater control and flexibility in managing customer interactions. While both email to case and on-demand email to case serve the same purpose of creating cases from incoming emails, there are a few key differences between the two. Infrastructure. Email to case requires setting up and maintaining email infrastructure while on-demand email to case relies on Salesforce's external email service. Security on-demand email to case offers enhanced security with TLS encryption, which may not be available with the standard email to case. Deliverability on-demand email to case leverages Salesforce's email reputation, ensuring improved email deliverability. That's enough talking. Now let's get practical. For the purpose of this video, we'll embark on a step-by-step -step journey to set up email to case in Salesforce. Setting up email to case in Salesforce is a breeze. Log into your Salesforce org using login.salesforce.com in your setup. Navigate to email to cases under the service section and click on email to case page. Hit it, enable email to case, and save, activate on-demand services, and save to empower Salesforce to process incoming emails. Step two, next, add a new routing address. Click new, provide a name, email address. Select the case owner, case priority, case origin, email, and click save. Don't forget to verify the mentioned email address. Open the email box, verify, and witness the confirmation on the Salesforce page. Test your email routing slash services. Address by manually sending an email to it. Step three testing is straightforward. Copy the address routing slash services address. Send an email via Gmail and check if the case is created. In the case of success, you'll see the case created with the specified subject and body. That's it. Email to case is now set up and ready to streamline your support process. Congratulations. You've navigated the complexities of email to case in Salesforce. Implementing this feature enhances customer support, ensuring timely and efficient responses. If you encountered any challenges, refer to our blog or seek assistance from our amazing Slack community. We hope this video provided you with valuable insights into leveraging email to case in Salesforce. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you have any further questions, drop a comment below. Thank you for watching.